The main difference between single and two-stage compressors is the number of times that air gets compressed between the inlet valve and the tool nozzle. In a single-stage compressor, the air is compressed one time. In a two-stage compressor, the air is compressed twice for double the pressure. In the storage tank, the compressed air serves as energy for the assortment of tools that a single-stage compressor is built to accommodate. Now it is time to jump in the main video. Before starting the deeper comparison, let's hop in the video. People who are new to air compressors will often confuse the number of cylinders for the number of stages in an air compressor, when in fact, both single and two-stage compressors use two cylinders because it's easier to balance air that way. Single-stage air compressors are often small units that can easily be transported from one room to another. By contrast, multi-stage compressors are typically larger and somewhat heavier. Dual-stage air compressors produce higher air power, which makes them a better option for large-scale operations and continuous applications. However, two-stage compressors also cost more, which makes them better suited for factories and workshops than private use. For the independent craftsperson, a single-stage compressor will power a variety of handheld pneumatic tools that don't exceed 100 psi. At auto shops, pressing plants and other settings in which complex arsenals of air power machinery are utilized, the higher capacity dual-stage units are the more preferable option. One major difference between single-stage and two-stage pump compressors is that the former are made for intermittent use, whereas the latter are suited for ongoing applications. Therefore, the reliability factor will all depend on what you plan to do with your air compressor. If you need compressed air to power work tools in your garage or cooking equipment in the kitchen, a single-stage compressor should handle all your needs. If you need an air compressor for factory applications, a single-stage unit would not be a reliable piece of machinery. Multi-stage compressors have the CFM needed to handle large arsenals of pneumatic tools. They're also more suited for high-powered applications like sanding and painting. Two-stage air compressors are more expensive than their single-stage counterparts because there are more parts involved. However, the parts in the two-stage unit are smaller and typically require maintenance at less frequent intervals. Therefore, the cost to operate a two-stage compressor could be less expensive in the long run. A two-stage compressor can also make your operations less expensive if your applications are factory scale. If you have many pneumatic tools, you need a compressor with optimal CFM for every application you intend to run simultaneously. In an automotive plant, a single-stage compressor wouldn't likely suffice. You would probably need a second single-stage compressor to handle some of the applications, thus raising your operating costs. For factory use, your upfront investment in a multi-stage compressor could save you money over time. Single-stage compressors have one cylinder. Therefore, there is only one piston stroke for each revolution of pressurized air. The relative quietness of these units makes them ideal for smaller working environments like kitchens, garages, workshops, and homes. When it comes to the capacity of an air compressor, the most important spec is the CFM, which indicates the operating capacity. If, for example, you have multiple pneumatic tools that you plan to run simultaneously, you will need to make sure that the compressor you chose will exceed the CFM demands. As for horsepower, consider that 1 HP moves 550 pounds 1 foot per minute, then imagine what 2 HP or 3 HP will do. In summary, one-stage units are for small-scale projects and personal use, while two-stage models are more geared toward industrial-scale arsenals. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below.